So honestly, I have no idea how other YouTubers go, well, this is what I just made and I'm about to eat it, but I'm gonna make a video first. No, if I make something, it's because I'm hungry, and when I'm hungry, I can't make very good videos. So I'm gonna eat these bananas, and then I'm going to make a video. All right, so I lied to you guys. Uh, I'm actually gonna have oatmeal for breakfast because I tried the bananas and they were not ripe yet. It was not a fun time. Uh, so this is my oatmeal. Uh, it's got about four cups of oatmeal. Uh, I got a bunch of frozen uh, mixed berries in here, some dried cherries, uh, some sugar, pumpkin spice, almond milk, and cashew butter. As, as a pro tip, I'm giving you guys a pro tip here. Put some sort of nut butter in your oatmeal and it'll be so much more filling and it'll taste a lot better. And I highly suggest cashew butter because that is my absolute favorite. So anyway, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to actually make the video. I promise. Dunzo! So uh, today what I wanted to talk about was uh, the reason why there are so many what I eat in a day videos on YouTube for vegans especially. Like it's, it seems like there, you can't find a vegan YouTube channel that doesn't have what I eat in a day videos. So, I want to talk about why we do that because if you're new to veganism maybe I mean you may be thankful that we do that but be like why are there so many uh, part of the reason is because we get requested a lot of times because people want to see what happens in your life because everyone has different preferences and things like that um, so I think it can be broken up into two uh, two categories there's the reasons that you make them for people who have been vegan for a long time and there are reasons why you make uh, those sorts of videos for people who are just becoming vegan. So for the people who have been vegan a long time you may want to make a video for them to show them an awesome recipe that you have. Maybe a pro tip on how to uh, save a bunch of money when you go grocery shopping. Uh, maybe you have some sort of vegan kitchen hack or you have this cool vegan product that you really like. Maybe some shampoo or something. And uh, you know, you just say, oh, just got done in my shower, this is what I just shampooed with, now I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then show what you ate for breakfast. So it's just a cool way to show what's going on in your life. There can only be so many vegan fact videos. I mean, protein can be covered only so many times before it gets redundant and everybody does the same exact thing again. But how many times has there been a video about your life? I mean, hopefully you're gonna be the first one making a video about your life. But the main reason I think that people make what I eat in a day videos are for new vegans. Uh, I mean, personally, I went vegan because I saw a what I eat in a day video by Megan Elizabeth and Foley Rock Christina. I just saw those videos and was like, wow, that's so cool. Like, I really wanna do that. And the cool thing about YouTube, I'm gonna go up and kind of side brain here, but the cool thing about YouTube is like, you can go and watch those awesome videos on YouTube, like People Are Awesome 2014, or or something like that um, so you can either watch those videos and be like wow that's so cool or you can be like wow that's so cool I'm gonna go do that and that's kind of like what I did with the what I eat in a day videos I was like wow that looks so cool I'm gonna do that not just oh that looks cool wish I could do it no you can do anything you set your mind to you can do anything you see on YouTube you just be like wow awesome do it we also do it to show that we don't just eat tofu all the time I have so many recipes that would make any omnivores mouth water and a huge reason for making the videos for newbie vegans is because we want them to be successful. We want to show vegans that they, you have to eat enough in order to be successful. Most people are coming from a standard American diet where most of their food about this big has about as many calories as vegan food about this big. So you have to eat more volume. So a lot of people, they don't really know that until somebody says it to them. They don't know that, you know, a little bit of rice has a lot less calories than chicken about this size. So a huge reason why we make these videos is to show that you have to eat enough in order to be successful on this sort of diet long term. And what better way to show that than us showing exactly what we eat every day. Um, sometimes I show exactly what I eat and then I'll put it all in chronometer or my fitness pail to show people exactly what I'm eating, uh, how much calcium I got. I know, you can't get calcium on a vegan diet, right? How much protein I get, how much zinc, selenium, all, all the things that people think there are nutritional holes in the vegan diet. Um, and other than B12, they're not accurate, like, at all. And speaking of B12, I should probably check mine. Uh, I got a sublingual one from uh, Wegmans. You just stick it under your tongue for 30 seconds and then you swallow it. And uh, you sound kind of weird when you're talking because you gotta hold the, the B12 under your tongue and make sure it gets absorbed through your veins, your arteries, not even the veins, blood vessels, let's go with that. So anyway, that's why I make my What I Eat in a Day videos. It's largely because I want to show people that you need to eat enough. Uh, it's also for cool recipes and what I do in my life. 
uh, sort of those kind of things, uh, show my opinions of things. Because most of the time when people do vlogs, when they do like what I eat in a day videos, it's not just what you eat in a day, it's what are you doing in a day as well. Because people want to know what's going on in your life. I know, it's crazy, right? Uh, so anyway, I'm probably going to be making a couple more uh, what I eat in a day videos and maybe typing them into chronometer and stuff like that. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you next time.